Hello, people of Rubyard! We're back in Tan Tan Town Nawia. And we are going to continue with our city. I forgot what we actually said that we were going to do. But it seems as if there's parks. Something. Yes, this is about like a bet with parks. 100 Sims visit parks in 71 hours. Easy peasy. 5,600. Easy. Mayor LOMN GG. I'm really enjoying life here. We're town in town. Uh, we, uh, I am, we have a vibrant and diverse city here. One thing that I wish we had is a place to get in touch with our spiritual side. Like a temple, church, mosque, or modern temple. If you help us out, I'm sure the powers that be will kindly on it. I will definitely do that. See you now what that means? I got an air. I got an air. I got an air. Okay, now we got this. So we got a church. A mosque. A modern temple. Or a temple. I'm really falling for the modern temple. I really am. It looks awesome. Really. Yay, it's all plopped down and people are getting even happier. Look at it, it's glowing in the night. That's that's amazing. That's just that's just purely amazing. Look at that crap. This is like the coolest thing ever. Okay, so what's next? Uh if we want this to be turned into a tourism city, we need to up our population. As well as the academy. Got some bad crime though. Do we have enough money for crime? Or do we already have a police station? Yes, we already have a police station. We'll be okay. Which means some people should start actually increasing their density soon. Although I don't really want them to over here. Because of course, we have the fence wars going on. And it's just multiplying. It's between the Burns residents and the Ortiz residents. And they're just, they're just going at it. They really just love to go at it with their fence wars. And I don't understand what their problem is or how they can actually afford these fences. Because they're such low wealth people. But it's the way that the cookie crumbles and rolls and whatever you want to call it. Alright, so some people are worried about crime even though there's a police station right by them. Which I think is quite ridiculous, but whatever. Uh, police is actually a problem. How about I actually just get in one more car? Because we can't afford it. And we'll be, we'll be hopefully good. Yeah, see, this outstretches through basically the whole city. And look! We got some increasing in density, of course, industry. Which means that all of our houses over here should start to increase sometime soon. So what should we do this time? Don't really have much to do. We have a garbage dump, right? Yeah, we have a garbage dump. Not much in it, though. We have disasters, which would be quite fun. We could, we could summon a meteor strike right in the middle of town if it makes you guys happy. Nah, we'll let our first one happen naturally. And then we'll just, for like the closing episode. I don't know why I always fall for that. For, for like the closing episode, we'll totally do something fun like that. Alright, tons of residential demand. And we're gonna get some more high wells so that we can get an academy in here. Which is definitely our top priority. And in order for me to want an academy, I'm gonna have to extend out the roads. This is medium density. If I'm correct, yes. Here we go. See, we're just got a huge cash, in cash injection. So let's, let's go ahead. And let's do exactly what we did last time. Let's zoom out. That's how it's going to be made, by the way. It's just going to keep outstretching. Into various types of straight lines. Until it looks like a huge grid. I think that'll look cool, personally. We have all of our bonds, though. Taken out. And down for the count. Why did I just up the tax? I don't want to up the taxes. Alright, so people are really pro 
Wait, there was no edu Do we have education in the city? Do we actually have education in the city? No, we don't. We can, however, put down a grade school. Or a library, as of right now. Maybe. Came from Fla- Is this Flatheries? That is the weirdest name I have heard. Ever. No matter what. The Flatheries. Sounds like it could be a sitcom. Actually. The Flatheries. Uh, a huge tale of whatever. Okay. Firework fun! I think we'll be able to do that now, considering it's actually not by that many places. So there won't be that many fires, and we already have an extra garage. So we'll do that. Uh, yeah, firework fun, by the way, is you have to have less than five fires at a time in seven hours. So you see, uh, power drinks with the Z just set on fire. Because there's frantic fireworks going off. And if we don't get to it close enough, fast enough, then everything is just going to burn down. But we'll be fine. So, Java Company, of course, is burning down as well. Okay. It shouldn't cause that much. I normally put, like, my fire station right in the middle of places, which can be good because you get the fire f fires faster, but it's bad as well because you also can get fires a lot more when you get the firework fun quest thing, whatever. So, I, I would advise not to do what I did. Uh, what I was doing before. Look at this! It's amazing! It's like perfect. It looks like alien... Uh, do they make alien ships here? No. Th they make freight, don't they? It's quite boring. But whatever. More abandoned buildings. Apparently it's on fire. So we actually can't do anything about it. Whatever. Look at all this. Hey, we got the chance for an upgrade because people are increasing their density. Wait a second. Did the are the fence wars still going on? Aw. Uh, wait, are they? It seems as if. I don't think they are anymore. It's quite sad. Yeah, I don't think, I believe that they are not anymore. Quite sad, really, because I really wanted to see the Ortiz and the Birds residents just keep going at it for fun. But now that they're not, it's quite sad. Okay, so let's upgrade this and give some fun stuff. Okay, so we have, of course, we need a city hall sign because signs are everything. Alright, so we can do education, finance, safety, tourism, transportation, and utilities. Uh, this is going to be a tourism city. So obviously tourism and transportation are going to be a big one. But finance is also a great one to have. As well as uh, education. Everything is really good to have, actually. As well as this. All of these are very important. We can definitely queue off on you for a little bit though I'm guessing if we want to start making money sooner but we're already making a lot of money so I think that a university would be a great thing to have here mm. it would really actually also increase the tourism value but I think that a transportation would be awesome as well so we'll plop down a transportation little annex thingy and let's do it. Now we have a Department of Transportation, which means that we can go into here, Mass Transit. You can get a bus terminal now. A streetcar department. But the most important things are trains, ferry, ferry terminals, and a municipal airport. As well as maglevs, but that'll come later. And we also have enough money to do the economy! Which you want to plot by industrial. So that, well, yeah, you really want to plop it by industrial. It increases the tech level. So now we have the academy. It'll hire up a lot of crap. See, I, I talked about this in the ending of my uh, first episode. So that's good. The lights just got turned on. This is going to be very essential. We only have 32 people working. <laughs> but whatever. So, first thing we want to research, of course... Wind and solar power amplifiers. 
here we go. See, we have 50 low wealth workers and only two medium wealth workers. That's quite depressing. But once we get that amplifiers, we will totally be able to start working on our mega tower. Lots of injuries, apparently. Or just one. Okay, that's, that's fine, actually. Let's check out the maps to see what's going on. There's tons of crime, actually. There's quite a bit of criminals. And then there's one that's literally just right next to them. Which is actually inside of a crime area. But for some reason, they're not getting them. Crime's weird in this game. Oh, did not mean to do that. Yay! We can build a mayor's house! Which is actually quite fun to do, because it incre just increases land value. Honestly, it's awesome. So, mayor's house! Boom! Look at that! Making everybody happy! Holy crap, like everywhere. That was, uh, that was for the ferry terminal, which we will do. Okay. I'm starting to get a bit out of hand, so we'll add on another one in the meantime. See, that's why a Department of Utilities is so nice to have. Because honestly, you can outflow your crap literally just somewhere else. And it contains it very nicely. Uh, how's our little spaceship doing? Fine, actually. Hey, we got 80 little well sims attending the house of worship. We almost have 80 well well sims in one day. But that's not going to happen for a little while. Education! Education is a very, very good thing. Which I actually think that we're going to want to plop down at grade school at least. It can cost a lot of money though. So you got to kind of be careful. But it increases the happiness by so much that it's totally worth it. I think this will also be our little education strip right here. Which I think will be great. And we'll plop it down right where we're not going to put down another road. And now we plop down bus stops within the residential area. And look at how happy these people are getting. They're so happy. They're getting education. They're, they're so proud of themselves now. They're like, we're growing as a city. I, I would be happy with myself. So, I and mean, we'll just place one right there for no reason whatsoever. So here we go! Grade school! Commercial demand is on the rise. Frick. Uh, I think that we are actually going to... Okay, maybe not there. Where should we plop down some more resident con commercial? Maybe inside of this area? Where everything is at? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Right, workers are also starting to become a problem. As well as power. Frick. Everything's becoming a problem. You're eventually going to also need to just get... So we'll just do that. And why the frick do we not plop down the sign? Sign is the best part. Shut up, solar power. Alright. Residential. More, 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 more. We'll just plop it down in this area for the meantime, trying to avoid the industrial so that n everybody doesn't get sick. We'll try to put it as close to it as possible. So there we go. Alright, these guys are going to talk about population. We will totally become a suburban city. I should do more of those like, little voiceovers. Craps. Craps. That's a, that's a total thing. Okay! Try cubic blocks. There, We have to find some sort of new rivalry now. Alright, so how about we think of something? Our, our approval rating isn't that high, actually. So what's up? Power, power, power. Power is quite a problem, actually. I'm not sure how bad, because we have a 6.3 megawatt access, but whatever. Alright, let's try to find a new rivalry in this town, because everything's, like, upgraded. Hey, we got 15,000 residents! We can actually get on another annex. That's awesome. You know what we can do now? Totally plop down the Department of Utilities, or the Tourism! One of them's gonna come, but... We're going to want utilities uh, before we get tourism. So we're going to pop down that utilities. Because when tourism comes, well, everything comes. That was not meant to be sexual in any way, by the way. Don't, don't feel offended. We're only teaching two students. Uh, that's horrible. That is honestly the worst thing I've seen in a while. We just finished Divine Intervention. 
and Academy Initiative is coming. It's coming along. Okay. How about we plop some residential here? Here? And here. There we go! Residential. I love myself some residential. We're making crap tons of money per hour, really. So... Sewage is quite a problem, and it causes us ground pollution when we do it here. I think that, honestly, the sewage treatment plant is going to be our lord and savior, but it's a crap ton of money. But we could totally afford it. So I am actually going to plop it down right here. And that'll be good. Let's have it higher, people, and then we will totally go for it. See, that holds se this holds 70 gallons. These two only hold 11. Alright, so this should be treating sewage. So we could totally just knock this down. What this does is it, well, treats sewage and it doesn't create ground pollution, which is awesome. We completed the research project, apparently. How much control net do we have? Uh, 2,300. That's totally enough. So, here we go. Solar power amplifier. It does a lot of stuff and it makes our power go much higher, which is what we need. $40,000, 500 an hour. Uh, it takes up 1,250 control net, but we have 2,300. And power production bonus is up 200%, which is awesome. That's about three times the power. Let's do it! Doubles the output of what we have right here. So it creates a crap ton of power. That'll, that'll blink red for a little bit until we actually get workers in it. Well... Why, why do we not have enough control? We, we have enough control, man. Don't lie to me. Yeah, we go! It's working! Yay! Okay. So now we can research something else. Like I said in the last in two episodes ago, sewage sanitizer is not really worth it, considering we have this. And you can just get a pumping station. Uh, mag people love maglevs, honestly. So we'll get maglevs. Look at these. This is beautiful. It's a beautiful, quaint, high wealth park area. With all these nice little flowers. And fountains. And look over here. This is all fenced off. There's like little mountains over here. So it's gonna be like impossible for people to go here. This is like the restricted area. Nobody can actually get into it. It is quite weird. But it happens. Alright. What's up with school? 16 students a day? That's horrible. I totally thought we would be treat we would be uh getting more. Okay. So we totally have enough to start a mega tower. Pay off these bonds. And then what we do, we get two fifty thousand dollar ones. We have the sewage for it, we we probably have the water for it. Which we can totally plop down something if we know. And then we have definitely the power for it. So how about we do it? Mega Tower, and then we'll close off the episode, because this has been quite long already. Hey, hold on, there's a Mega Tower challenge that is $80,000. That'll totally get us back on track when we're done. I love that, by the way, how they just give you challenges like that, and I think it's awesome. So here we go! Mega Towers! A Mega Tower with apartment level. These things are freaking massive. Uh, they're so big. I, ca I can't even say anything about them. They're just ridiculously big. So we're gonna plop one. These give you a crap ton of population. Let's go! I clicked. Why are you not... Please. Okay. That's okay. So. Now we have that plop down. Now we're gonna get a huge, huge boost in education. Not education. I'm sorry. My mind got retarded there. Oh, what? Classrooms are full? Oh, frick, that happened. Mega Towers give you huge populations, and it will be so great. We didn't even plop down the side! Oh, we're about to close off the episode, and then frickin' grade school just screws us over. We'll get in some classrooms, too. Make you guys happy, and maybe another school bus. Okay! That'll conclude our episode for today. This Mega Tower will be built, and we will totally be able to have some fun with it. Alright, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the content in your channel, hit that like button and that subscribe button. I would love to see you guys over 
I have my other videos. Honestly, I have nothing. Let's just pop you down. I have, like, nothing. So, yeah. I'd love to see you guys over in my other videos. And I will see you guys at another time. Back at Tanta... Tantano... Tantanoia. Alright! Arrivederci!